Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Huawei FreeBuds SE wireless earphones. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit from Huawei. In this video, I just want to present to you my findings and you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. Official retail price for this here in Singapore is 88 Singapore dollars, which is around 62 US dollars. This was launched in September 2022 and they have a launch promotional price of just 48 Singapore dollars. I'm not sure when the promotion will end, but at this price point at 48 Singapore dollars, I do feel like they provide good value for money. Right, let's take a look at the items included in the box. There is the charging case and earphones, quick start guide, USB-C to USB-A charging cable, extra ear tips. You get a total of three ear tips, small, medium, and large, and that's it. The silicone ear tips are a bit too soft for my personal preference. I would have preferred something a bit more firm so that the fitting can be better in ear. So this earphone has a 10 millimeter dynamic driver in it. This part here is almost oval in shape. The physical dimension is about four by six millimeter. I'm not sure if you can buy or if you want to buy replacement ear tips for this. This is a friendly looking design. There are lots of curves. There are no sharp edges, no corners, and the build quality seems to be quite solid. So these earphones are available in two colors. This is the blue, which looks like a minty blue to me. There is also white. It may not be obvious, but there are touch controls, which is limited to just double tapping. You can customize the shortcuts using the app. These earphones are very light. This is just 5.1 grams. When I have this in ear, I can feel the earphones, but I cannot feel the weight. And the case is 35.8 grams. The case is small and compact and has many curves. The lid will close with magnets and that's the power indicator. The battery life for the earphones is about 4 to 6 hours. Together with the case, you can get a total of 16 to 24 hours of usage. That's the Bluetooth pairing button. So you can press this button for 2 seconds and it will start pairing. The pairing process is very fast and subsequent connection is also really quick. One thing I don't like about this design is when you take the earphones out, they are upside down. So before you can wear it, you have to turn them right side up. These are comfortable enough in ear. However, the fitting could be better if firmer silicone ear tips were used. Even with the largest ear tip, I feel like this is not that tight. Anyway, this is not going to fall off even when you're running or shaking your head because these earphones um, are so lightweight. Let's talk about audio quality. For some reason, the audio codec is not listed on Huawei's website. So based on what I've seen on other websites, the audio codec is SBC and AAC. AAC is used by Apple devices. These earphones do not have active noise cancelling, so that obviously is going to affect your enjoyment when you're using the earphones outdoor. For the audio, I find it to be slightly warmer. There is definitely a slight emphasis with bass and when it comes to listening to songs with vocals, they sound terrific. I highly recommend you check out this song by the way, Chandelier, the piano version. If you're using good headphones and earphones with this song, it can give you the chills. The spatial quality and sound stage of these earphones are not as good compared to higher end earphones. So when it comes to listening to instruments, uh, you're not going to get that spatial instrument separation as clearly with these earphones compared to, again, higher end earphones. But overall, I would say my enjoyment when it comes to listening to music with these earphones is still quite positive. Let's see what you can do with the app. This is the Huawei AI Live app, and here you can check the battery life. You can customize the touch gesture shortcuts. There are only four shortcuts to choose. Play, pause, next song, previous song, wake voice assistant. There is no way for you to adjust volume. And that's pretty much it for the app. Let's test the call quality. Huawei actually advertises noise cancelling for calls. I'm recording this with an Android tablet. 
So this is the call quality you can expect with the Huawei FreeBuds SE in a room without any ambient noise. And this is the audio quality you can expect with the Huawei FreeBuds SE wireless earphones when there is background noise, loud background noise. Alright, to conclude, these are budget earphones so you have to manage your expectations. These are great for people with very limited budget or for people who just want something really simple with no frills. If I have to compare this with other earphones at this price point, I will compare it with wired earphones and here you get the convenience of wireless Bluetooth. The main downside for me is the lack of ANC but at this price point, it's difficult to find earphones from other brands with A and C. For audio quality, I would say it's probably 3.5 out of 5 stars. You may think that's not good. Nowadays, when I review wireless earphones, I rarely give more than 4 out of 5 stars for audio quality. So 3.5 out of 5 stars for audio quality for this Huawei FreeBuds SE is actually pretty good considering the price point. The fitting could be better but I don't have major issues with fitting or comfort. If you appreciate something more premium, you can check out the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 which is priced at 298 Singapore dollars. So that is more than 3 times more expensive than this but that has way more features and better sound quality. So you can choose uh, based on your budget.